Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. Have you ever heard, don't go to bed on an argument before, as far as relationship advice, marital advice? I am going to go over five different reasons why that's bad advice. After 20 years of marriage, you realize certain things about marital advice. You, you kind of learn yourself <laughs> the hard way, usually. And I have discovered that this piece of advice, this one piece of advice is just, it's not great. It's definitely not good for me in particular or my wife because we are very, very busy people, very stressed out, and we, we can get tired at night, <laughs> okay? Just recently, we had a, a heated discussion about whether or not we were going to move. Uh, if you take a look at this little episode here, I talked about HOAs. We've had some issues with our HOA here lately with my son's dirt bike. And honestly, we had a, a pretty frank discussion about leaving the neighborhood and moving somewhere else so nobody could can bother us. So it was late at night. I was tired. She was tired. And what would have been just a normal conversation to us ended up being a bit of a heated argument. And that's just a plain example of why this is just terrible advice. So reason number one, most likely the argument is going to escalate because you're tired. All right. When you're tired, your emotions have a tendency to be pretty high. Your tolerance is a lot low. Uh, it's a lot lower. And your reasoning can be a little skewed. There's all kinds of studies when it comes to sleep deprivation, uh, where they'll study people's reaction time, their mental capacity, they'll do math problems, you know, before and after sleep deprivation. And they say it's actually any task that you do during the day is going to be three to five times harder if you're sleep deprived. So that goes for an argument too, or a, a discussion. Uh, so that can easily escalate into something that it normally wouldn't have. All right. So that's reason number one. Number two, you're going to have a tough time putting things in their perspective. Okay. This goes for men and women. When you're tired and it's late at night, you're going to have a tough time putting yourself in their shoes and seeing their side of the argument. Okay. So you're going to lack their perspective and you're, you're going to miss the bigger picture, whether this is a fight worth having or not. Okay. Arguments serve a purpose in a relationship. You are going to fight. If you're married long enough, or if you're in a relationship long enough, you are going to disagree. Nothing is perfect. The all or nothing marriage. That's kind of a new thing in the 21st century. It seems like you are going to have tough times. You're going to argue. Those arguments serve a purpose because that's how you grow together as a couple. The arguments basically solidify boundaries. They create boundaries around each other. So you know where to operate within the, the relationship. So you grow together. That's the key. No one is a perfect match. Their soulmates don't exist. So having those arguments, you basically learning what your spouse likes or doesn't like. You're going to lose that perspective when you're tired. So that's reason number two. Reason number three is you need recovery. Okay. Sometimes emotions need time to settle. So you're going to need the sleep. You're going to, when a, when an argument is fresh, a lot of times it's actually a good thing to come back to it when you're rested, when you're um, a little bit more sharp. Uh, I don't know if any of you mechanics out there have experienced this before where you're really struggling with the project. Uh, you can't get a bolt in somewhere. You've you've uh, rounded off a bolt or something like that. You get very very frustrated, and everything makes it it's it's ten times harder than it needs to be. You walk away from that project. You come back to it, and you solve it in you know just a few seconds. I don't know how many times that's happened to me, but uh, same thing here. Okay, if you walk away from this argument uh, and go to sleep. You have a tendency to recover quickly and resolve the argument very, very quickly. And that leads to number four. Number four is when you're tired, when it, when you're late, when it's late at night, you're going to feel pressure to resolve that argument quickly. 
Okay, quick resolution is not at always a good thing. So if you resolve something quickly, that's kind of a big argument or a big, uh, a, a big problem, you're going to compromise. And when you don't want to compromise, you're not going to solve that argument. And it's going to keep coming up, keep coming up, keep coming up. And that's, that's when arguments can really cause problems in your relationship where you're not resolving things and your relationship is, is constantly at level 11. And that's never a good thing. A uh, conflict like that, uh, that's constant can't have the potential to end your relationship over time. Uh, when you when you feel pressure at night, when you're trying to get some sleep, you're going to try to just resolve it saying, you know, you're, you're just going to say, fine, whatever. <laughs> you're going to say uh, something passive aggressive like that, and it's not going to go well. So quick resolution to arguments. Not, that's number four. And number five, I've actually hit on it just a little bit before. Sleep promotes your problem solving skills. When you're rested, everything else is easy. When you're tired, it's going to be three to five times more difficult to resolve an argument or even just form a sentence. So after a good night's sleep, you have a tendency to process uh, more thoroughly. A lot of times, actually, when you're rested, when I'm rested, I'm a lot more enjoyable to be around. I can cut a joke. I can cut the tension very quickly. That kind of stuff does not happen when I'm tired uh, and it's late at night and I just want to get some sleep. That's never a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. So there's your five reasons why never go to sleep on an argument is bad marital advice, uh, bad relationship advice. So if you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. For those who have already hit it, I really appreciate it. Just getting started with this channel. It's about six months old could really use your help to get the word out. So until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.